Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Digital Diversity Streams here on this lovely rainy day here in Australia. Uh, we have a very special treat today. Uh, we are going to be playing Love Hughes. Uh, I have been anxiously waiting to play this game for months. It has been up there on my list for months and months and months and I am so excited that I finally get to play this game, this beautiful visual novel, and share it with you all. It is my first time playing through and everything about it just says charming and beautiful. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a time. We're gonna have a time. I hope you are all doing wonderfully out there today. It is a rough time in the world. But this is a safe space. This is a space for us to come together and enjoy games and enjoy being ourselves. So yeah, we'll have a little chill. We're gonna wait for people to turn up because I know we're expecting a few folks, a few wonderful, lovely folks. How is y'all doing? Hey, Draz. Hey, see for Mage, how you doing? How is everyone doing today? Listen to this music, isn't this gosh darn gorgeous? You're the dev. Ah, oh. well, welcome, welcome. We have we have game dev uh, royalty with us, <laughs> or at least as far as this game is concerned. Just chilling. Good. Uh, this music by Mood Music. Very interestingly spelled that one. Um, hey, how you doing, Kali? Welcome, welcome. So, gosh, this this one has been on my list for ages now. Gosh, how how long ago did you add it to my list? Oh, what's the what's the best way to refer to you? Uh, sea farm mage. What's the What's the best thing to call you? If uh, since I'm gonna be no doubt bouncing back and forth to you a bit during the stream. Hey, you're hype. I'm hype. Hey, geese breath. Welcome, welcome everyone. Oh, it's already so much love in the chat. So many, so many, so many wonderful good feels, good brain feels, happy brain feels. We're feeling, we're feeling very gay today. Uh, I'm always feeling very gay, but today, as as is my regular Tangled. <laughs> welcome, Tangled. Welcome. That's okay. All good. Welcome, welcome. Um. Oh, let's all be gay together. Uh, Twitch has a wonderful array of, uh, pride hand emotes, so if you see yours, feel free to chuck it up there. Share, share the, share the love, share the gay. Pick your, pick your flag and share it together. We are going to be gay together. Thank you, Draz. How you doing? Hey, Draz. Podcast. Next month. You ready? You hyped? You hyped? Where are all my- which are my flags? Let's find- there's no arrow emoji. Yeah, that- that's us- that's probably asking them a lot. They- they put in what they got. I'm waiting for them to put in a- a poor agenda emoji. But, I think that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But what do we got here? Um, by pride, trans, ace, cause I'm- Biromantic, but they don't have a biromantic. I don't think there's a bi biromantic one. Um, Non-binary. So there, there's, there's my four. There's my four. Um, you know all these folks at IRL. Yeah. I'm so glad we're gonna, we're gonna geek out. We're gonna have fun. The romantic symbol for romantic stuff is a heart. Yeah, that is very true. I love this music. It's just, it's looping and it's making me happy. Like, it's already giving me good feels. 
Yay! We got some we got some uh, non-binary representation in here. Sweet. And and uh, for any non-binary folks in the chat, you can use uh, exclamation mark NB to say that the MBs have arrived. If you use NB, that's up to you. Um, <laughs> that's always there. Just, just because, you know, we don't, we don't get seen a lot, so. Ah, uh, that's so good. <laughs> Alright, so, let's get going with some... I think we're about ready to roll, so let's get some content warnings up. Let's get the content warnings for today's stream up. Content warnings for Love Hughes. There is some flashing images, some mild language, which I'm I'm assuming is things like darn and dash and poot and uh, dagnabbit. Um, that's what I'm assuming is as mild language. Uh, there are some character deaths, injury and illness. So crass. Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh. Gosh. Some suggestive themes. Hey, Astrutral, how you doing? Uh, there is a brief alcohol mention. I am glad that's included. Thank you for including that in the content warnings. Discussions around mental health. Challenging relationships. I think we've most of us have had at least one of those in our lives. But it does not contain not safe for work content. Uh... It is included that this is uh, a game based for 16 years and up. This stream has been marked as a, uh, a mature themes stream. So if you are not 16 years or up, I recommend that you go find something uh, a little more age appropriate. You're doing good, I'm glad. So we've all got that up and running. We've got the link down the bottom, so everyone's happy. Is everyone doing good today? Is everyone doing good? Has everyone got a beverage? Has everyone got a beverage? I got a beverage. I'm probably gonna need uh, uh, an emotional support plushie for today. Let's see, what are we gonna take? Let's grab... No, nah, not rock rock today. Let's grab... Let's grab Bunny from American McGee's Alice. They're gonna be my, uh, they're gonna be my emotional support plushie because no doubt I'm gonna be having some feels today. Uh, you got tea, you got peppermint tea, you got water, awesome. Everyone's hydrating. Oh, they're so soft. Okay, let's go over to, da da da, game screen. Oh, who's excited? Who's excited? I'm excited, you're excited. It's just this one game today, so we can focus. So, I'm just looking at the top here. You don't have a emotional support plushie, but you always wear hoodie because warm hugs. It's nice. So, up the top here, it says that there are 41 endings. 41. We will maybe see one today. You have hot chocolate with marshmallows? Oh, envy. And that doesn't include the platonic ones. How long have you been working on this game for? I think a lot of the endings are gonna be gay. Don't worry. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna have some gay going on. Look at these cute characters. Look at five years. Yeah, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be chatting to me after this is done, right? We're gonna we're gonna have ourselves a little interview for for digital diversity next week, uh, next month, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, uh, this is so cute little rainbow. Um, character gallery, little rainbow. All right, I've I've spent enough time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay, before we start, how did you keep motivation to be working on this game for five years? Like, 
I think the longest I've known someone who's been working on a singular game for, like, a singular person in that instance was, uh, Bob Conway from, uh, who made Yags, and that took him two years. You haven't committed to another project for so this long? Yeah, I bet. That's a long pro. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's focus. Let's focus. Are we good? Are we good? Should we get this rolling? Should we get this rolling? Before I get, before I get overly emotional. Alright. Sorry, I'm just, I'm absorbing all of your, your gay energy. This is, this is, this is very motivating for me. It's been a very long week, it's been a very stressful week, and tiring week, and all that, but I'm just, I'm basking. I'm basking. And it's, it feels good. We're good. Shall we roll? I, I'm gonna need someone to say let's roll on this. I can't spend two full hours just being gay. Gaya! <laughs> you say this already, this is gonna get gayer. Let's roll. Let's gay. Start game. Chapter 1. Welcome to Love Hughes. You'll be able to play this game as soon as you've agreed to the end user license agreement and privacy policy, which can be found here. Sorry folks, I'm just gonna have to go through this end user license agreement. Um, just, just give me a few minutes. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, yeah, scope. Terms, personal use only. Yeah, can't rent it out. Yep, this good streaming. Uh, grants permission for the user of this game to stream it and maintain the right to revoke this permission. Yep, okay, so don't get me in trouble. Uh, refunds policy, well, uh, save compatibility music. Oh, we've got the, the list of the music here and all the uh content warnings privacy poll yeah I, th I think we're good there i think we're good there um <laughs> and use a license agreement speed run <laughs> that's all good enjoy your painting like what <laughs> hey read your end user license agreements people it's important it was last updated second <laughs> second 15 2020 god there's not a 15th month what is going on with you people do you agree to the end user license agreement policy? I have. Hey, Avalos, this is Love Hughes, and this is the first visual novel I've ever seen with an end user license agreement. <laughs> so far, we have encountered one new mechanic that I have never seen in a visual novel before. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. It's important. Oh, This is so cute. Even this is cute. Before you start the game, would you like to see a list of potentially sensitive subjects that may come up in Love Hughes? Yes. Oh. Even the buds animated, the content warnings, a proper content warnings sheet. Please, if you are making games, this sort of thing is gorgeous. Yes, but it's in the game, and that's important. One final detail before you start. Love Hughes use your old playthroughs, powder race from a main menu, persistent data. Uh, that would be uh, Seafoam Mage, who is currently in chat right now, uh, but you can find the demo for the game. Uh, the link is down the bottom left of the screen. And when is the full release? Because this has just... This has just been uploaded. This is fresh. This is fresh content here, people. This is brand new. Um, and... Uh, we haven't even started. We're almost 20 minutes in, and I'm just, like... I'm loving this already. Freshly baked game. Freshly baked. Release is mid-April. Wonderful. So y'all will be seeing the out of play through this before and all 41 not including platonic endings then. Dead coming out soon? Wonderful. Wait. 
Oh, there we go. Or. Hear me. This dream again. I know it'll fade away as soon as I wake up. No matter how much I try to hold on to it. There's a faint buzzing. A moth shadow crowding out of the burning sun. Someone trying to shout my name, but the sound is always muffled. Muted. I try to move forward, but my every step feels heavy and beleaguered. I love the word beleaguered. It's such a good word. I want to reach the person who's calling out to me, but... Me. Find me. Find me. I slowly came to and stretched. Before I could even think to turn the lights on in my room, I heard a metallic rattling outside my window. How do you pronounce dot 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 exclamation mark? Like... What's the phonetic pronunciation of dot 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 exclamation mark? <laughs> I'd heard that familiar clattering for years. The Metal Gear Solid surprise noise. Hey Onyx! More Envies has arrived! Ellipses, but screaming! <laughs> the gentle click as the mailbox was unlocked, the creak as the door was swung open, and the hollow clunking as the mail was tucked inside. Damn it, now I've got to change my name to Ellipses, but screaming. Sorry, I'm, I'm keeping that for later, Geese Breath, thank you. That's just too good not to keep for later. The postal worker had dropped off their daily mail into our family mailbox, and with it, maybe I'd finally see my acceptance letter. What a mood, yeah. I'd rushed into some presentable daytime clothes before I stumbled down the steps of my house, overwhelmed by the sunrise outside, sunlight outside. My eyes hurt and stung as they adjusted to their new surroundings as I impatiently felt around our family mailbox. Finally, my pupils were small enough that I could comfortably see again, and I quickly opened the mailbox and ripped out a single letter! It's a gas bill, isn't it? It's a gas bill. For a second, I couldn't breathe. It's a very, like, that is a good gas bill. Power bill? Eh, not with that crest. Like, possibly telecommunications bill. Like, could be internet bill. It's an envelope- Its envelope was a smooth cream white, and Fall's insignia was proudly printed on the front. My cry of excitement shriveled up in my throat when I realized that this wasn't necessarily my acceptance letter. Could be saying that we owe the money. I turned it over a few times, trying to focus on the velvety feel of the envelope instead of its contents. I had wanted this since grade 10. To attend the most prestigious university of in our province, to attend its amazing lectures, to walk through its facilities, it's one of its pupils. Was I really good enough to be accepted? I finally began to pick at the side of the envelope. My hands shook. This was it. I tore it a little bit. I peeled it open cautiously and gulped in breath as I pulled out the letter. Dear, what names at the top of the acceptance letter? Kaiju. Dear Kaiju, we are delighted to tell you that you have been accepted to Falls West University. Ellipses as cried. The academic year will begin on September 3rd, 20XX. Ha, ha, cause XX means 20. Ha. Is, is funny joke. Yes? Is, is. Cause, cause that would be 2020. Yeah, see what they did there. It's clever. I punched the air in excitement and hopped on the spot, trying not to yell the neighborhood down. This was in! This was really happening! 
Please send us a passport style photo of yourself along with your pronouns. We will create your student ID within one week of receiving these items. Fuck it, sign me up. Any, any, any educational body that asks you for your pronouns for your student ID, sign me up. Like, sorry folks, we're not playing the rest of the game. We're just going to this school. We're just gonna go, we're gonna start our education over again. All right, I'd forgotten about that too. I can't believe I'm really going to falls. Let's find that picture. I flipped through my phone's gallery eagerly. Here we go. Aww. These are so cute. Well, I have the boobs now. So I think we have to go with that option, right? And that's actually the style of glasses I, I used to wear when I was still wearing glasses, so I, th I think this is the way we have to go. But look at these, they're so cute! Yeah, they're, they're a bit buff. Yeah, that's- look at these animated buttons! I love this. Okay, let's indicate my pronouns. My pronouns are... Three options, they're the, they're the basics. I'm totally happy with that. Like... Buff is good. I've seen, uh, there are a few games that give you, uh, the option to put your own pronouns in, like to write your own, which I think is great. Uh, any game that even just has the, the basic three, that's what I call them, the basic three. These are good. Um... Uh, they're not perfect, like for people who use neo pronouns, but they're good. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause for a second, and while we're on the subject of pronouns, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, we're we're we're, we're playing this right, or we're at least seeing a lot of this. Neutral pronouns for your character. Everyone uses neutral pronouns, and the. Amusing thing that I found out of all of this is a lot of binary people are going I wish we had the choice I wish I'd had the choice To 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 not have neutral pronouns to have to have you know She he whatever pronouns and I'm like now you know what it's like Now you know what it's like to never get the choice Yeah, they wish Yeah can't relate. Perfect. I continue to skim the letter. You'll be staying in the sundial dormitories during your studies. Please find attached a list of textbooks that you'll need on your for your first year in your program. It has been built based on your chosen courses. This year I'll be studying- Ooh. We're gonna need some help here folks. This is an interactive session, and you'll be fine. I'm going to have pronoun choice in nano game. Protects canonically. Yeah, like, that's awesome. Fine arts, so... We've got one for fine arts. We have arts, humanities, language, history, education. Fine arts, music, sculpting, writing, drawing. Sciences, maths, computing, biology, chemistry, physics. I know that's the one on... Onyx would definitely want us to take open studies. What are we gonna take? Get the history rep? Open studies? <laughs> arts? Fine arts? Just okay arts. <laughs> yeah. No, the dev is allowed to vote because you know the fun ads. Mediocre arts? <laughs> Yeah, what is open studies? What what is How does one openly study? So so arts. No, so it might be a Canadian thing. Open studies are root OP, dev kids up. I think we're going open studies, because that way we can we can kind of do as we want. I think that sounds like a good idea. I just love this. Look at this. This is so beautifully drawn. I love this. I'm just gonna enjoy this, but yeah. 
So I'm, I'm thinking open studies. Take classes from different programs at once and not in a specific major. I like the sound of that. Let's... Let's take what we feel. Let's let's go open studies and take what we feel. It's it's the OP rail. This is this is what we need for speedrunning, right? The open studies is speedrunning. There's a pan option. Like, we're open. I nodded. Luckily, they'd gotten that right. The letter finished with another congratulations, but I didn't finish reading it as I ran inside. As you have chosen open studies and not dedicated to a specific topic, you will need to buy every textbook. The estimated cost of this will be 43,000 Canadian dollars. Characters will notice it. Hi, Max. Hey, Bob. Welcome. No, yeah, not late. We've barely just started. We have chosen our character, uh, or our character image. We've chosen our... Uh, mate, we've chosen our course load, which is just open studies. We've gotten to choose our pronouns, so let's get to it. I need to get my things packed and move into the dorms. My post-secondary career would kick off in two weeks. Oh no, we're just talking about school books. Like, have you never been in a school where the textbooks are horrendously expensive? Like, that even happened at my senior, uh, the, the senior part of my high school. Uh, I, I was poor. We, like, we had government support, so we only got secondhand stuff. Um, I'm just glad we didn't pick the sciences, otherwise that would have cost us a fortune. You bought your textbooks on Amazon the second week of classes and got for, yeah. I gazed at the large campus ahead of me and suddenly felt a bit self-conscious. My first day at Falls University was officially underway. Yeah, I can believe that. Your high school bookstore was free, but if you lost one, yeah. Hey, Shodan, welcome. It was bustling with activity on campus already. Volunteers in neon blue shirts walking or walked around, helping dozens of new students. Any books and programming? Yeah. The welcome back fair was especially busy. People were browsing through different booths to get free goodies and general information about the school. Hey Wraith, how you doing? I guess I can always visit it once I'm on my lunch break. Friend who took a mentor to use a MacBook Pro. Holy crap. Yeah, just saying, if your if your education um, requirements, like for your courses, require you to have specific books or subjects or equipment, it should be provided. Like, I had a vague recollection of where my English 131 class was, so I took a deep breath and walked through the oak doors to the general building. <laughs> Not even a normal MacBook, wow. Very fit student. Hang on, please wait. A blonde student bolted towards me. Despite their lightning fast sprint, they were barely out of breath. Oh, we've got affection points up the top there. Ooh. Ooh, we know who we've got here. So the names of the, of the ones we can meet are James, Toby, who looks to be this one, Devlin, and Nova. Tobes. This person's very lively for a Monday morning. So sorry, would you know where the language wing is? I've been running around for the last 30 minutes, but I'm totally lost. Yeah, with a name like Nova, I I can't not. Like, the... the... I mean, Toby's pretty good too. Can... I'm getting, like, is Toby, uh, a relative of Isabel from Animal Crossing? Because I'm getting that, that, that look is very, very cute and close there. Just... I think I've passed this hallway three times already. <laughs> Make up a random route. Follow me. Come on, Toby, let's, let's hang out. A distant one. Thank you so much. You do look like you know where you're going. I'm glad I talked to you. I knew too, actually. I just moved into the dorms a week ago, so I had a chance to learn the campus grounds. No way! That's so cute. Cool. Little catfish with a cop. Yeah. 
They rummaged through their bag and pulled out a schedule while we began to walk. Are you in English 131? Introduction to academic writing? Ooh, fun. Yeah, actually, I wasn't in very interested in intro to classical stories. God, what would you take? Would you take academic writing or would you take classical stories? I mean, part of me would go would be taking intro to classical stories just so I could start my um, start a thesis on how bad were these, all of the above. Totally understandable. Are you headed to that class right now? I nodded, and they practically did a little leap of joy. But classmates, that's so cool. Wow, really? I guess we'll be able to keep each other updates on projects and stuff. Looks like it. Yeah. And then the conversation stopped. Awkward silence. Eventually we glanced at anything but each other. You've only known Toby for five minutes or you love them? The student cleared their throat and fiddled with their schedule. Finally I gathered the courage to speak again. Mood? <laughs> Alright, classical literature is problematic, okay? It's... We acknowledge this, we know it is, it was written during times and by people who whose views of the world were not generally were generally uh, shaped by the time and by their upbringing so yeah um so do you I we accidentally spoke over each other they shrunk away again and began to look for a way out sorry maybe I should Oh, it's for DMs. Okay. Suddenly realized that we did have something else to chat about. Wait, did I miss your name? Just sec. Sorry, they are about to, uh... Yeah, stuff's going on. <laughs> Do you like stuff? They immediately relaxed and at the refreshingly easy question. No, I totally forgot to introduce myself. They blushed as they spoke, tucking a strand of their hair back. Oh, they're, they're doing that. They're doing that. They're doing that. Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained sometimes. I'm Toby. In terms of pronouns, I use they or them. I'm also non-binary. The first character that we get to meet and they're non-binary. I will protect you with my life, Toby. I will protect you. I will fight anyone to protect you. What a sweet bean. Okay. I'm happy. For sure, it's nice to meet you. Tobin. <laughs> Their name's now Tobin. <laughs> I'm so glad to have met a classmate already. I'm Kaiju. Right, yeah, me too. So, uh, do you mind if I sit with you during English? Not at all, Tobin. We are we are gonna look after you. Faction voice ten! We're one tenth of the way. <laughs> yeah, they're they're good menus. They sighed so deeply in relief that they almost seemed two inches shorter. A faction speed run. Okay. We gotta romance Toby as quickly as possible. I was afraid to ask. Thanks. Wait, why? Am I intimidating? Fucking mood. <laughs> the number of people, like... 
People always shy around me. I'm like, am I intimidating? I don't mean to be. I'm sorry. I'll look after you. No, not at all. It's just, I'm always worried about being too much and annoying people away, you know? And here I am, oversharing within the first few minutes of knowing you. You're cool. I get that. But don't worry. I'm very happy that I at least have one acquaintance already. So if you don't mind me asking, what program are you in? Oh, I'm taking open studies. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Balls just has so many options. <laughs> very fit f student is my father. Please call me Fit Junior. Wow, really? That's so cool. I'm doing open studies now, right now. I hope to get to see you around. God. Okay, uh, we've got some, uh, uh, the non-binary people are doing open studies, apparently. I think I'd like to focus on sports-related fields, though. Maybe rehabilitation or personal fitness training. Toby paused, checking their schedule against the door that we now stood at. Here we are, let's go find the spot. Class will start shortly. We looked down the steps of the lecture hall together. Practically every row was crammed full of first year students. Most kept people kept to themselves and set up their notebooks or laptops. I hope you brought your MacBook Pro with you because you'll need it for this course load. Half the tense room flinched when a metal water bottle crashed and clattered onto the hard bottom floor. The seasoned prof up front hadn't even blinked, nor had, did he bat an eye as the poor first you just scr scrambled down to pick it up. Too relatable. A thrill of excitement made my heart flutter once I recovered from the shock. My first lecture in a lecture hall at Falls. I bit my lip to hide the undoubtedly weird grin that threatened to take over my face. Toby gasped and gestured to the front. Yeah, has the has the text changed much? The front, yeah. Oh, why are we sitting at the front? Welcome! Holy crap! KP3228B! 8, sorry. Holy crap! Why do you do this every stream? Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! I think everyone can now smile. Oh. You do this and you know it makes me cry. You know it makes me cry. God. Oh, there's still some empty seats near the front. We're at luck. God. Thank you. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being so wonderful. Like... Do it because they're cooler than being cool. Yeah. Like... Ah. Uh. This is all thanks to your ex excellent navigation skills. I'll get you a copy sometime as a reimbursement. Nah, anytime. Let's go down there. After everyone had settled down, only a few free seats remained. One of the seats was beside me. The lecture hall suddenly became completely quiet as the prof's computer whirred to life. Right after I grabbed my own supplies. Uh, can someone please call IT? The projector isn't working. Can someone call IT? The projector isn't working. Uh, does anyone up here know how to use a projector? Sorry, I, I worked at a uni for a, for, about, for a couple of months. It's like... <laughs> the most common request from a teacher is, does anyone know how to get the projector working? 
If I hadn't turned to lift my laptop from my backpack, I wouldn't have seen the classroom door creak open one last time. A student with dark curls stuck his head around the corner, surveyed the situation and strutted in with a confidence I could only dream of. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do it. He was still quiet enough that he somehow managed to avoid irking the professor. Just like us, he checked the room and resigned himself to the front row. Our eyes met. His gaze lit up as though he'd seen a long lost friend. I blinked back in surprise. By now, Toby looked at me, probably weirded out by the fact that it was taking me a minute to remove my laptop. The student finished his walk down the steps and joined my side with an easy-going smile. Well, looks like I'm right on. His gaze slid from me to Toby as his grin faded a bit. Time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't they? Don't spoil. I haven't played the demo. Don't spoil. Toby, it's been a while. You look well. Although his tone was warm, I caught a barely audible flat undertone to it. I smiled nervously and turned my attention to the prof, squaring my shoulders a bit to try and discourage further conversation. However, Toby leaned further forward to glare at him. This, host this hostility was so unlike Toby I knew so far that my discomfort multiplied tenfold. I've been fine, yes, James. Why are you here? James? I've been in this school for just about three years, you know. It's not weird for me to be on campus. By the way, you'll get wrinkles if you keep glaring. Cut it out, you can't be taking this class if you're a third year student. Aren't you well past entry level course already? I am, but I didn't have to take English as a prerequisite up till now, so I just put it off. Didn't like essays. That's unfortunate quality for a science focused student. James just beamed back, unfazed, irritably. Toby gestured at him and hissed. And, dude, this has like 20 sections. How did you pick up the same one as me? Well, I sensed that there was someone in section 101B who utterly disliked me, so I simply had to enroll in it. Can't say I'm, uh, warming to this character. They're cute as heck, but... Toby opened their mouth to reply, thought better of it, and gave up with an angry shrug. They rummaged through their backpack to set up their own notebook and pencils, giving me a chance to speak of the cheeky student who'd join us. <laughs> or I would have had a chance. The awkward silence didn't long last enough for me to serve. The professor stepped up to his podium and began his lecture. Just take them both out for coffee and sit them down like a mediator? Yeah. <laughs> it is a troll enrollment. So, th this, this game is going to be out about us mediating between them two. Those two, right? The next hour and a half remained a little awkward, since Toby didn't interact with me due to this presence of the third year student. My first lecture experience. I shook my head, I wouldn't let their bickering ruin my first day. After a few minutes, I'd be free. Suddenly, I heard paper rustle on my right side. The third year student slid me a note keeping his eyes on the prof the whole time. As soon as the prof looked down for a second, he gave me a warm, somewhat embarrassed smile that reduced my annoyance a bit. I checked that Toby wasn't watching. They were still focused on the professor and pulled the note over. It crackled as I opened it. Hi, sorry for that argument earlier. Didn't mean to have you literally in the middle of it. I meant to greet you as I walked when I walked in. Toby and I just have 
a shared history. But we don't want to drag you in. I'll try my best not to drag you into it. I glanced back to the professor. He was scribbling his contact info on the board as well as links to the course syllabus. You had X vibes earlier? Uh. <laughs> I quickly scribbled a reply back. It's okay. Was your name James? Well, it must be James because James wrote on the note, James. Hi, sorry for that argument earlier. Right? <laughs> All good. I mean, a way you could get around that is put, uh, like, hyphen James at the end of it. Something like that. I'm Kaiju. <laughs> I am I am a monster when it comes to finding bugs, typos, all that sort of thing. Please do not feel bad about it. I find it fun. I never let it diminish my gameplay, my experience. So if I see something, you know I, w I will bring it up as something that you can go back to and fix. But I will never see it as a bad thing, so don't worry. You, you should see me play... Um, uh, I used to play Damsel a lot. It's a... a platform action vampire game and I crashed that game so many times while the devs were watching that they had to keep re-updating it every time I played it. He took no time in answering. Yep, it's a pleasure to meet you. As I said earlier, I'm a third year student currently taking pre-med studies. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, breaking games is fun because it teaches you how games work. Maybe you were with RimWorld. I need to get back to playing RimWorld. He paused and tore off another small piece of paper. My GPA standing is 3.8. If that works as proof of my academic dedication. I don't know what that means. Ah. <laughs> uh. A jerking, a joking reply or a dry reply? 90% average. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't think I do want to like James. Like, he's cute. But, uh. 90, 95%. Oh, okay. I just go with a dry one. Defend the toe bean. Toe bean must survive. I flip the paper over and write down my answer. Having a good GPA and gloating about it doesn't necessarily boost your personality standing. I slid it back to James, gauging his response. His gaze scanned the text and he flinched a bit. He hastily scribbled a fight or reply. Sorry, I was kidding and bragging a tiny bit. I guess that wasn't very clear. Yeah, you need to put slash JK at the end of it. Or slash S or something. God. As I read his final answer, I noticed that people were getting up and heading for the next classes. James stretched luxuriously and Toby glared even harder at him. So Kaiju, write, write a wet response. You dump your brain. That's how you end your first session. I mean, the character art is gorgeous. I just gotta say, they have... James has adorable character art. Are you a first year student? I don't think I've seen you around before. Stop flirting with me. Granted, we have 10,000 students plus, but... Yeah, I am. I actually upgraded my grades when I left high school, so I could have been a second year student, but life happens, I guess. Cool, you're 19, right? I nodded and James beamed. I guess correctly. Either way, you're welcome to Falls. It's such a nice school, you'll fit in within a few weeks. If you'd like a tour, Toby cleared their throat. Hey, welcome. You're in camp, James. Class is over, James. I heard pre-med's pretty intense. Don't you have another course to attend? 
I winced at how direct Toby's anger was this time. Even James seemed a little put off. He paused and scratched the back of his head, but quickly recovered his gusto. You made Toby. <sighs> hey, Pecon! We are playing Love Hughes, which is a beautiful, wonderful uh, visual novel we've only just really started. We've been introduced to these two characters. We have Toby, who is non-binary. Uh, on the right, and we have James on the left. They're both adorable and cute. We are starting at a new school called Falls, Falls University, I believe it is. And we are like good character. James is a good character. I will not like James is very well written, but the abrasiveness of him as a character is not something I am personally drawn to. Whereas Toby very much seems like they've been defending themselves against uh, James's very joking attitude. Okay. Uh, for quite a while and is probably a little tired of it. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's my feel towards it all. And I know a lot of people like Toby who've been, who've been like negatively affected by people. Uh, actually, I have a lunch break at the moment. I have some time on my hands. He turned to face me again, thoroughly ignoring Toby. Do you also have a break now, Kaiju? We could hang out if you do. Actually, I... It might be nice to eat lunch with someone if you don't have plans. James's capacity for smiles after three years. Encourage me to save here. Okay. Save. I love Rempai and the ability to just save whenever. Like, this is something I always love. If you're, um... If you're making a Rempai game, the save system is also incredibly useful because you're making so many changes throughout the game script that the ability to just jump to specific portions that you're editing is really useful. So that's just a hint for anyone here who hasn't made a Rempai game. Although I think a good two thirds of the people here have, so I'm not saying anything. Yeah, the fact that it's already coded in is so good. Yeah, you can, you can just go through it. Aww. I'd like to have lunch with you too, Kaiju, if that's all right. Toby finally managed to squeeze their own thoughts onto James's enthusiastic speech. Yeah, and you can you can go back and you can and if you've got saved versions, you can just go back through it over and over again. Yeah, it's it's really lovely, and that's something that I do love about this engine. And it's something that a lot of a lot of folks I've talked to really love about it is how forgiving and friendly the engine is for that sort of stuff. They'd somehow softened into resignation. They swallowed and pulled in their lips. I knew now, by now that eating with both of them at the same time probably wasn't a good idea. Well, I want to make it happen anyway. Where? There's a secret button here. There's, there's a secret button. See, see if I'm... Where's the secret button? There's a secret button here that lets me eat with both of them. Where is it? Is it like... Is it Toby's eye? Is it Toby's eye? Like... Is it one, is it one of James's buttons? I've, I've got to find it. There's a secret one here that... See! No. <laughs> Minus five points for James! Ah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know. I think I reckon if we go to the fair, we'll be able to meet someone else. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Both students visibly relaxed with the answer. I think this is yeah. I think this was the right one because they know I'm not picking favorites, even though Tobin is my favorite. I love you, Tobin. You're gorgeous. You're wonderful, and I will protect you. Oh sure. Yeah, don't forget to join the club or something while you're here. Oh, I love this. Walking out of the welcome back fair was literal and figurative breath of fresh air for me. 
The animosity between Toby and James was incredibly pronounced, even though James played it off by being easygoing. It was clear that he wasn't too fond of Toby either. I slithered off into the weird atmosphere that took a nice breath of fresh air, fall air instead. Odds were I wouldn't see them that m much anyway. Surely they'd be alright. Maybe they'd sit on opposite ends of the room next time. I indulged myself in musing over the reasons for their mutual dislike as I wound my way through the dozens of booths that made up the fair area. As my attention slowly shifted from James and Toby to my new environment, I almost felt overwhelmed by how many extracurricular op options falls featured. Now that I looked a little closer, pretty much every degree and diploma had a representative club, and most of the popular majors and minors did too. Even some specialisations like immunology boasted a small student-led community. Uh, no, uh, we immediately get he for James, so I don't know if that's something that needs to be put in. Yeah, like, because they immediately, uh, the game immediately refers to, uh, James as he when he sticks his head into the classroom. So that, that that's one of those situations when it comes to pronouns is because there's a lot of defaulting it happens a lot um yeah immunology sounds like a really good one to take right now just saying other than these specific study specific clubs i also noticed an animal rehabilitation club a gaming club a volunteering club an art therapy club and even a museum organization club oh oh that'd be so hard to choose from Animal Rehab Club, heck yes. Museum Organization Club, yes. Mm, gaming, probably. As long as it wasn't too full of neckbeards. Um, be Elite Gamer, yeah. Maybe I should join one. Severe students. Your OCD just is fighting with your game side. You students come over here for your maps and general information. My eyes were immediately drawn to him. It was hard not to notice him. This is another one where you auto the like situations auto default. So that could be easily changed to them. Well no problem. What with both the volume of his voice and the colour of his hair. I love that. One sentence, four uses of the pronoun. It's it's pronouns are infectious like that. He had dyed it nearly pure white. I wandered over to him in spite of the hordes of students that quickly scurried away from the booth once they'd picked up some swag and maps. Something about his genuine enthusiastic attempts to invite people over as they wandered away resonated with me. Plus he looked vaguely familiar. Before I looked at him I glanced around the booth. Apparently this was the full student union table. Unions, important, get into your union that's appropriate. Hell yes for unions, let's get some respect for unions. Alphabetical by console, it goes. <laughs> let's all, especially at this time, respect the unions who are just doing their best to keep people going. Several other volunteers from the union were wandering around, handing out pamphlets and buttons. Finally, I met his gaze. Hello, are you a new or prospective student? I'm a new student. Yeah, I'm hoping the unionization picks up a lot. He was less nervous than I expected him to be after having so many students hastily shuffle past him. He stood up right and there was a determined calmness in his every motion. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome to Falls University. I'm Devlin. I serve as the Students' Union Volunteer Coordinator. Right, I remember seeing this guy on the Falls website. He's a third year student. I wonder how he manages both. If you're interested in getting more involved with student life and falls campus life, which I strongly recommend, feel free to contact me or the union. Okay, cool. 
Additionally, if you're ever lost or need information, feel free to talk to me or any employee or volunteer at the union. I should also mention where the Students' Union is. It's on the fifth floor of the Arts Building along with Students' Counseling and other support services. Do they have, like, an SGA? Do they have a Straight Gay Alliance? Like, I need to know about Falls University here. Uh, Seafoam, uh, tell me about the, like, is there that sort of program here? There better be one. You didn't include one? Well, that's okay. Uh, uh, there, are, there are plenty of games that have them. <laughs> you don't need them. You don't need them. It's all good. Great. So what kind of opportunities are available right now? Good question. I'm always happy to see others become more involved at Falls. In fact, let's join the union now. Let's let's join the union. Let's let's let's, let's do some union support. There we go. There we go. Let's get some union solidarity going here. We don't have specific opportunities right now, but we are looking for general volunteers who'd be helping us on a regular basis. Would you like to sign up? I opened my mouth to answer when I noticed Devlin flinched. I glanced over my shoulder, but I didn't really see anything that could have made him jump. Sorry, please feel free to finish your registration with anyone else here. I just have to step out for a minute. Oh god. Saving again? Do it. So this is why it's good to have the dev on side. Tell me when I should be saving. He muttered something to another volunteer who nodded back to him. He flashed a quick smile to me before he left. Something about it worried me. The uni had an SGA, but I did have a queer lounge. Not that it went open. If you want awesome games that have uh, SGAs, go and check out uh, Game Monster Kiss Club. Uh, and Bob's Yags. The, the club there, was that an SGA or was that just a, a queer support group? I'm trying to remember. I mean, put one on the next game. Every, every game should have it. That had an SGA as well? Awesome. So yeah, go check out Yags, which is Bob C. Games' one. Go check out Game Monster Kiss Club, uh, which is uh, really, really fun and weird. Uh, games, games that have good incorporation. Ooh, the Zags demo comes out next month. You know I want to be playing that, Bob. You know I'm going to be playing that. That's fair enough. Ooh. Do we walk up? Do we follow him? Do we follow Devlin? Or do we walk back, leave the fair? Follow him? Are you on team Devlin now? Whose who's team are people on? <laughs> Sets you on his route. Okay, we want the fourth one. We want the fourth person, so let's leave. I shook my head. I'm not gonna be. Try and keep walking. Maybe it was best to let him do his thing. <gasps> I want the jumper. I want that sweater. She stood a little distance away from the festivities, reading a map. I briefly gazed at her. She didn't notice me until her eyes slid over to my direction. Hi. Hi. Have we met before? She looked at me with such dis disinterest that I immediately began to tiptoe backwards. N no. I just felt incredibly compelled to say hi, for some reason. You, you're a plot character, right? You're a plot character. That's why you have, an, that's why you have a, a character sprite. I felt compelled to talk to you. Everyone else here is just like plain white with a name, like student on it. Um, you're, you're the only one with a colored avatar. So I, I, I don't know why, but I had to say hello. Oh, okay, well. I'm Nova. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, everyone else here is a 2D cardboard cutout with, yeah, very fit background character, um, not important character, person who says, yeah, at opportune moments. Hi, Nova. Oops. 
It didn't feel as if she was particularly interested in continuing the conversation. I was about to bow out of the incredibly nerve-wracking situation when she blinked in surprise. You're changing your name to a- You're changing your name to that. I'm changing my name to Ellipsis but screaming. I'm actually gonna do that now. Don't mind me. I'm just- I'm just gonna go into my profile for a second. There we go. I am now Kaiju Ellipsis, but screaming. I blame you all. Welcome back. We've just met Nova. We've met Nova and we've met Devlin. Wait a second. I thought I recognized you from something. You're my neighbor, aren't you? I, I am? Yeah, in the Sundial dorms. My room's in the East Corridor on the second floor. My blank face must have informed that I had no clue what she was referring to, as she gestured somewhere impatiently, somewhat impatiently and continued. It's okay. We, I want to meet everyone before I start making any decisions here. Your, third, your door's got the little blue bird on it, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, I have no clue how I didn't see you. No worries, I'm often out and about. Oh really? Yep. There's a secret character too. Mm. I love that the most common line in this game is dot dot dot. That's that's important. Uh-huh. I see, me too. To be honest, well, I guess that I haven't been out and about that often, but I noticed gratefully that Nova wasn't frowning anymore. I wandered around campus a few times since I got into the dorms. It's gorgeous. It's not bad. False history is more interesting than its current architecture, in my opinion. But you're right. I'm happy to be here too. It's history? I peeked over a map to see who was holding. It was yellowing around the edges. Whenever Nova moved, it crinkled. Hmm, say. What's your name? I don't think I caught it. Kaiju, I'm glad I've officially met my neighbor. Another brief silence ensued. Cool. It's been nice meeting you, but I'm kind of busy. We'll be for the next few hours. I'm treasure hunting. Um, I've, I bought this map of a, of a guy on the street corner who asked me if I had a cousin named Sven. Um, it looks like dance instructions, but I, I, I think it's a treasure map. Anyone who gets that reference gets 10 points. Um, <laughs> I'll probably see you back at the dorms tonight if you're at night owl though. Alright, I'll see you later with any luck. Later. I looked up at the sky, it was already noon. Time flies when you're having fun. Hmm. Hmm. Nova Pirate confirmed. Yep. Same thing happened to you last week? <laughs> Let's head home. Today was good enough. Might as well head home. I felt like someone should be here, but the road was eerily empty. I left. What a day. I love the cockatoo up the top. <laughs> Ominous. What a day. I wonder what will happen over the course of the semester. Although I didn't really meet anyone on the first day. What do you mean? I met four people on the first day. I was happy enough at Falls. Nothing remarkable really happened. To this day, I wonder whether I could have experienced a little bit more as a college student. Well, let's go back then. Oh, it's the no route selected. Okay, let's let's go back. Stay for a little longer. Why not stick around for a bit longer and see what else is going on? Or maybe a hot drink was in order. As I left the quad, I headed for the arts building. The cafeteria was rumored to be beautiful. Might as well check it out. There we go. We're experiencing some more. Four dollars thirty for poutine. That's pretty decent. 
I'm just looking at the, the stuff on the side. Before I realized it had become pretty dark outside. Probably wise to head home. I thought I saw a shadow walking through the trees, but it was nothing more than a cloud passing overhead. Pizza restaurant! We're suddenly transported to Yags. Distantly, I could hear the sounds of other students walking around the campus. Kaiju! Turbines! I leapt away from them in shock. Toby stumbled back just as hard and clutched to a nearby tree for support. Say no to drugs, say yes to pizza. Sorry, I was so worried I'd scare you. Well, you did. It's okay. My attempt at nonchalance kind of fell flat. Toby caught their breath and smiled sheepishly. They gingerly let go of the tree and tried to wipe the tree sap off their hands. I just finished working out of the gym and I thought I'd take a shortcut through the quad. We headed to the bus terminal. We could walk together if you'd like to. Nah, I live here, so it's back to the dorms for me. Oh, lucky, I'd love to live in the dorms. It's a good way to get a full campus experience. I'll walk with you part of the way. Here we are. I guess I'd better catch my bus now. Good night then, Kaiju. See you in class in a few days. Yeah, um, it, it's winter now. Uh, we've, we've skipped a couple of months. We're in winter. Um, it, it's very dusty. Yep. Night, Toby. You sweet thing. I didn't really see Nova again after that day, although I did occasionally hear her various explorations and discoveries. Walk two whole seasons. Yeah, it's it's a long journey, the longest journey. She grew to be fairly famous in history-centered circles, and she was probably still traveling and discovering new places. Out of it. Wait, did I just miss the entire game? Uh. Um... Um... Uh... Let, let's go- let's go back to Devlin. Let's go back to Devlin. Uh... 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 We're just gonna- we're just gonna- we're just gonna go back. We- we seem to have- have bored- we seem to have ruined ourselves. Okay, let's go back and hang out with Devlin. It's all good, that's just from another game we play, it's all good. Alright. Ah, oh, that's um... Uh, Gomen, sorry. That, that is from uh, Last Day of Spring. I copy those because it's just like... We hit, we, we hit an unexpected wall there. Wait, hang on. I hurried after him, not wanting to sl slowly follow him to wherever he was going. What is it? Was nobody else available to help you? His polite tone didn't hide his puzzled expression. Before I could feel embarrassed about approaching him, I'd realized he'd hidden his anxiety. His hands were still shaking. Yeah, we need an ending. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll be fine. No, you, you, you didn't, you didn't miss, you didn't miss that much. Don't worry. Uh, we just, um, I don't know if we... We, um, I think we unintentionally hit an ending. We fell into an ending. Oh, poor Scott. I'll be fine. I just needed some space is all. 
Uh, the the absolutely wonderful. Um... God, where those go? Had all those notifications and they've disappeared. Uh, KP three two two eight. They they wonderfully come in and hand out subs. Seemingly every time I do a do a uh, digital diversity stream and it's so wonderful. I just need some space. Mind if I do that? I nodded and made to leave as quickly as I could. Oh, let's let's go back. Let's let's be nonchalant. No, I was just heading in the same direction. Nope. Apparently, we go that way. Maybe I said as quickly as possible. Did I ever set my boundaries by checking on one of the key members of the student union? As I walked away, I heard Devlin clear his throat. Thank you for your concern. With that, we each went our own ways. What a day. I wonder what will happen over the course of this semester. Yay, we hit chapter two! <laughs> Oh, we managed to get to chapter two, folks. <laughs> We're in Devil's Root. Does that mean we can't get Nova's Root? Okay. Okay. So that means we're going to have to make a choice here. Devlin, Toby, or James? Oh, I've got to clear another one before I can go do that one. Ah, pushing re replays. Let's do Devlin's. According to my phone, it was 7 a.m. I tore the covers off my bed and rushed to get ready. The first week of school had gone by incredibly fast as I got used to dorm life and my new routines. Uh, no, all good. I just, I thought I'd broken it. But I still haven't been able to get used to 8am classes. Between my new lack of sleep and all the excitement, not much information from the first week had stuck, except for my memory of the white-haired student. Was he feeling any better? Well, I guess I'd better get to class first. Most of the lecture hall already filled up. James and Toby were in their usual spots, keeping well away from each other. I sat in mine between them as always, almost greeting James. I don't know. Like, <sighs> time is an endless loop. Nova only represents those who stay beyond. Like, uh, but Torbeans, but Devlin, but James, but Torbeans. Ah, oh. I need your help. Who do we take? Who do, who do we who do we play through? Torbeans just seems so cute. No, I'm being indecisive. Devlin. Okay, Bob votes Devlin. Devlin. <sighs> Goose Breath is all in on James. Draz is Toby. Uh, the Dev is going oof. Alright, so we've got... Nova. Of <laughs> course. Hey, welcome. We're, we're at a... No, we can't do Nova yet. No, that's the thing. We, As you said, we can't do Nova until we had an ending, right? Hey, welcome. So we managed to get through chapter one after hitting some uh, little snags. So, we want to go Nova. Um, but that means we're going to have to play through one of them first. Oh, I need a, like, just a sec. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Um, here we go. Here we go. Uh, path to follow in. Uh, dev. 
Panther Beans, Devlin. Uh, I think this is what we want. I think this is what we want. Okay, great fold. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this properly. Straw pole. Get in there, give me your answers. Who who are we who are we uh I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two <laughs> Let's go let's let's go two minutes. Two minutes from now, who are we follow who are we whose path we're following? So check that straw poll in the chat. I'm, I'm gonna need an answer. Holy shit, they're bouncing everywhere. <laughs> Toby's in the lead. <laughs> James and Devil in a neck and neck. <laughs> I love this. I haven't done this before. This is fantastic. You changed your vote because of the names. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, okay. One more minute. One more minute. Oh, Devil and a Toe beats a neck and neck. <laughs> James has fallen to the wave side. <laughs> Alas, James. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we do. I'll, I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask the rabbit which one we go with. I don't know. We'll flip for them. We'll flip for our romance option. Who knows? All right. 30 seconds. I think that might be it. The dev breaks the tie. If we don't get one more, dev breaks the tie. And toe beads with 45%. <laughs> We're all in on toe beads. <laughs> I rigged the poll. I voted for toe beads myself. <laughs> Whoop, we're gonna start that again, just cause I gotta start again to load it. Cause I couldn't see a load button for some reason. Ah. Oh. Wah! Welcome! <laughs> hey, even in a democracy, the person in charge gets to vote. You know what they say, when there's only one streamer, there's only one vote. Alright, let's get the game running again. <laughs> I think duplication fails. Yeah, uh, Geese Breath, tell me the truth. Did you vote twice? I just want to do one of these. We're going to get one of these in. We're going to do one of these. That was fun. That was fun. I'm going to do that again. We're going to, we're going to do these again. All right. Oh, I'm happy. Come on, game. Come on, we can do this. Has given you some ideas when you do work work with Red Pie. Technology wasn't there. <laughs> that would be the mysterious last player that we haven't got to. All right, back to here. I'll eat lunch for Toby. Great, I'll pay for us both. Sweet, we just got lunch. James blinked wide-eyed at Toby, then me, then Toby again. But he offered a good-natured good shrug. Enjoy your lunch, you two. J 
James will remember this. Uh, Toby did. Toby. Because I kind of... Kind of rigged it a little in the non-binary favor. What could I say? We're, uh, since we're going, we've, we've gone the non-binary route, we're gonna go with the non-binary badge. So, we're, we're going... There we go. Toe beans. There we go. We're, we're... They, them, all the way. So, let's, let's go for that. We headed out to the food court together, but Toby didn't really want to talk on the way. Instead, they kept their eyes locked on the tiles, linoleum, and polished wood walls, different rooms and corridors. When we arrived at the calf, they finally glanced up from their feet through their head and shoulders still drooped. After a few guilty sideways glances, they mumbled, I'm sorry for what happened back there. Seeing James, we go a ways back and... They sighed and looked down, folding their arms behind their back. I'm just trying to say thank you so much for giving me another chance. I'll work on being less petty. Oh, Toby. Let me pay you back with some hot chocolate or a coffee. They glanced ahead of themselves and frowned. The lineup is pretty long. Oh well. They nervously rode their fingers through each other again. Do you like sweets? Yes! <laughs> they know, yeah, they, they know. Uh, so the menu on the right has poutine, soup, and salad. I'm all in on the poutine here. There are a couple of places that say they do poutine here in Australia, but they do disco fries. They do, um, like, they do... Uh, mozzarella instead of um, instead of cheese curds. That's that's uh, dirty fries. So d disco fries, disco fries. I actually work at a cafe downtown, so if you have a craving for cakes, candies, or other desserts, I know which ones are good. Holy crap! Uh, poutine is fries, so potato fries, cheese curds, and brown gravy. Uh, it is a traditionally Quebec, Quebec food, um, and the t the word originates from a 19th century Quebec word meaning mess, from what I remember. Uh, it, it just means mess, and it's chips and cheese and gravy. So we found the baking non-binary person, that's, that's who we're, we're all in on here. Come by, come stop by sometime. What about you? It's pretty obvious, but I love sweets too. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I'd love to get some here, but you can't get proper poutine here. It's almost our turn. What do you want to eat? That was good. Nothing beats poutine around lunchtime. These cheese and gravy they use here are actually good, and the fries are nicely crispy too, don't you think? <laughs> I licked the salt off my fingers and nodded, nodded in approval. Nice. Approval nice. Approval nice is a word. It's, um, uh, it comes from the German side. You know, approval nice. There you go. Certainly better than the dorm's food so far. Toby didn't respond to my quip at first. Suddenly they gave me the same guilty look from before. Just add to the expert. Yeah, exactly. It's just been added. Um, Along with hashtag. I hate to whine so much, but I have to say this. I still feel gross and awful about what happened in class with James today, and I think there might be more friction between us in the future. Expert dialogue from the launcher. Pasting contents at Google. Doc. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you're making Rempire games, highly recommend... Like, I highly recommend this anyway, because it's a great way to store your... Um... Great thing about Rempai is it's all script. So as long as you have the script, you're fine. So copy your, um, if you copy your script from Rempai into Google Docs, not not only is it a really good way of spell checking it, but it's just a good way to do edits on the go. So if you're not at your computer, you can just build your game. 
wherever you've got Google Docs. I want to keep you out of our conflict. I don't want to see me as some spiteful classmate. Maybe. I should talk about something other than how much I dislike James. Uh, I did it again. Yeah. And if, you, if you're doing a project with multiple people, definitely use Google Docs. I, you can use the same thing with Bitsy. If you're making a game with Bitsy, just copy the entire game data into Google Docs. You probably, you generally won't be able to edit it in Google Docs, but it's a great way to just take you where you want to go. I'll tell you about myself. Sure, and you know what? Don't worry about what happened today. It was definitely awkward, but you seem like a cool person, and I want to know you beyond that. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, let's try this whole thing again. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're the cooler person here. Or the coolest? The most cool. It's okay. We can mute we can be mutually cool. Oh, I love you, Tobeans. Toby laughed and nodded. Right. They leaned their chin on their hand and smiled a bit more confidently. Their hair softly fell to the same side as their head tilt. It was inevitably shining now that it was caught in the rays of the autumn sunlight. As you probably know, I'm a first year student just like you. I'm taking open student studies for now, but I'm looking at getting into a field that requires a lot of physical activity. I want to help others if I can. I've been lucky enough to have help while I was struggling, and I want more people to have access to that too. Oh yeah, turn, turn off gendered quotations in uh, Google Docs as well. It's pretty noble. They let out a bash bashful chuckle and shrugged. I don't think so. It's just the least I can do. Oh, quotation marks. Yep. <laughs> For every mistake that I make, I want to do two good deeds. It doesn't fix the original mistake, but at least I can spread more happiness than harm that way. That is a good attitude. I like that. Like, for everything you do, do two, everything you think you've done wrong. Try and do two nice things. It's like gambling. If you double your bet every time, you'll eventually get your- you'll eventually recoup your losses. Secret- secret technique. I think my specific goal for this year will become a better, stronger person. You'll be the Toby who can split diamond just by blinking your celestially muscled eyelids at it. If only, can you imagine? What would that power even be good for though? Fair point. I'd take it for bragging rights anyway. In order to get set eyelids though, I'd have to train. To that effect, I'd like to join full soccer team. I know that means taking the word stronger literally, but well... When I was younger, I was happiest when I was playing soccer in a team. I had to quit due to this and that, but I want to try that again. Small eyelids, not a visual <laughs> you were expecting to have? Yeah, fair enough. What do you think, Kaiju? Is soccer the way for me to become the best Tobes I can be? The new and improved Tobes? Why not? If it's something you love and you can do it, I think it'd be good. Really? I think so too. Ag hearing you agree makes me feel more certain in my choice. I will succeed at this. Thank you. What a day. I wonder what will happen over the course of the semester. Chapter 2, chapter 2, chapter 2, chapter 2. Chapter two, chapter two, chapter two. There's ah. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, that was Devlin's chapter two before before the rigged straw poll. Chapter two, point two, kaiju. Just like orientation day, Toby sprinted up to me cheerfully. Look at them! It looks so cute. I love that shirt. Can I get that shirt for my Animal Crossing character? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna screen, I'm gonna save with that because I'm gonna use that and make an Animal Crossing shirt with that on it because that looks just too damn cute. <laughs> 
Yes, sports TM. Uh, how about them sports balls? Amazingly enough, they still didn't seem out of breath. Good Tuesday morning. The first round of soccer tryouts are happening today. Alright, how do you do that? What have you put in code to do that? How did you do the bounce animation? That's a transform. Like, this seems like something I need to know. Toby Stride in four different positions. But it's looping! Then you run them with point one pauses. Okay. And repeat. That's really cute. We're all learning something today. To tell you the truth, I'm really excited. So excited that I bought a jersey ahead of time. I mean, the coach will see how dedicated you are. That's good, right? Parallel transform with up, down, left, right. I don't know. What if he thinks I'm over eager? And to make what is worse, I was also so nervous that I only drank coffee this morning. Now I'm super jittery. Look at this. They offered a hand towards me and it did quivering just a bit. Reassure them. <laughs> It'll be alright, Toby. Right, um, you're totally right. Oh, definitely. Like, I would really love to compile a list from, like, I definitely need to do that. So something I want to do that I'd love to do at some point is uh, compile a resource from all the game devs that I've streamed games from. Um of little things that they found to be really helpful, or little tricks that they've used, you know, little little sneaky things that they've really found to be helpful in making their games, and just put it all together. Totally right. I've got you on, if I've got you cheering me on, I have to, I have to be brave and relax. You can let go of my hand now if you like. Oh course. I don't mind if you hold on to it for a few more seconds. Unless you... I'm just talking in circles now, aren't I? Poor Super... <laughs> Sorry. They gently pulled their hand away. I'll do my best today. Would you like to come watch? If you have time, I'd love to see you there. They checked their phone and flinched. Oh, look at the time. It's going to be late for my human anatomy class. I'd better run. If you want to come to tryouts, I'll be trying out for the team at 2pm sharp today. You bet I'll be there. I'll be your biggest fan. Okay, well I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure you have class too. I'll see you then. That afternoon came pretty quickly, although I got lost. I now stood in the stands, scanning the field for Toby at 2.05pm. As I'd hurried in, I'd only had a moment to admire the full soccer, indoor soccer field. As our province's winter pretty much ran from September to May, Falls had built an all-weather soccer facility with plush artificial grass, a veritable arena of seats, and a fortified glass overhead ceiling that the sun currently shimmered through. If I ignored the ceiling, it almost felt like an open-air soccer field. I'd read they even had a special window mechanism enclosed in the ceilings they could roll out to block off the glass at night or during storms. I fixed my attention on the triads again, somewhat guiltily. Several eager participants darted over the field. Although they came in all shapes and sizes, many of the players on the field were fairly muscular. Finally, I spotted Toby, a small but agile speck among the rest of the participants. From what I understand about uh, soccer, or football, as is often referred to. Uh, Toby's small, agile frame is probably going to do bigger, better than a lot of the muscular types. They completed the exercises with finesse and enthusiasm. Their incredible stamina amazed me more than ever. Toby and small spec. Yep. Where the non-muscular players were already slowing down and trying to catch their breath, Toby just kept going. They easily skirted through the field, dodging left and right, and they made perfect passes to their potential teammates. 
I narrowed my eyes and tried my best to make sense of what they were doing exactly, but sports weren't my forte. I resigned myself to just appreciating Toby's soccer potential instead. The bench creaked close to me and I glanced up, startled to see a single other student in the bleachers. Nova! Hey, can I sit beside you? Of course. She took the spot on my left hand side. Nova, it's good to meet you. Nova is Nova is all powerful. Like I keep saying I have a type, but Nova is my type. We watched together for a while, she cleared her throat. Not really a popular event, huh? No, I'm I'm sure more people would come for a match. Power is a type. Yeah. Wait. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Well, from what I've heard. Okay. She yawned and leaned forward so her chest chin rested on her hands. It's probably because we don't have a cute mascot. We haven't had a cute mascot since Fall's founding. Oh? She shrugged. Usually I don't really visit these kinds of things either, but a friend of a friend is trying out today, so I put on my sorcery outfit to cheer them on. Yes, Onyx. I have a type, and you've noticed it. You love a woman that can kick your ass. Yep, Sp Spike put it perfectly well in the uh, Cowboy Bebop movie. I love a woman that can kick my ass. Well, in, in, in some cases, a non-binary person that can kick my ass. I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright. Yeah. Hey, like, Eva is also my type, okay? Really suckery, right? I honestly couldn't tell if she was joking and chuckled vaguely. It's kind of you to support your friend's friend. Well, I know them somewhat personally too. I wanted to see them succeed. Who are you, Nova? Who are you? Nova, we've just been over this. I kid, I kid. What are you are you asking what program I'm in or how I know Toby? So immediately we skip over the who you're here for. <laughs> My friend spends a lot of time with them. They're both in art, so we've hung out on occasion. As for what program I'm taking, I'm a Bachelor of Arts with a major in Native Studies and minor in History. I'd like to do something with horses after graduation if that's possible. Maddie would like Nova. Time Patches would very much like Nova. Oh, I'm taking other. <laughs> what are you taking? Arts, fine arts, science, other. It's okay. It's okay. We're having fun here. Cool. Oh. They're continuing. The tryouts changed into more of an endurance style evaluation as the makeshift teams passed a ball to each other on a small soccer match. Toby's passes remained clear, timely, and accurate, but along with the other small famed players, they were beginning to tire out. Right as they reached their limit, tweet! It's just, you know, stuff. Well done, everyone. That's it for today. We'll have results out in a few weeks' time at most. Toby picked up some of the soccer balls and pylons around the field and handed them over to the coach in question before they scanned the bleachers. Their gaze fell up with fell on me and lit up with joy. They leapt up and waved enthusiastically. Kaiju, hi, thanks for coming. No problem, let's meet the gym. I'll be there ASAP, wait for me, okay? Of course. Also, hi Nova. Hi, thanks for the acknowledgements. Classes about subject. I'm studying academics. Yep. 
Undeterred, or perhaps returning the dry remark, Tobley cheerfully shouted, No problem, come back to Teal Moon sometime, okay? Of course, Tobes. After flashing another quick smile, Toby horrored off the field's supply shed and rushed back into the fall's main building. Nova nodded, dusted off her pants and smiled. That's your cue. See you later. Toby hurried out of the change room. I didn't have to wait more than a minute for them. Their hair still dripped from the shower water. Kaiju, thanks for coming. I think I did pretty well. I need to work on my endurance. But I think I can make it in. I'm so excited. It's really great, Toby. Isn't it? I know. Let, let's get some ice cream. It'll be my treat. Wait. There's a little little coffee cup. There's a little smiley blushy coffee cup on the side of the screen. How are we doing? Toby 20. We're getting there. Teacup OS. Toby's sudden wince attracted my attention. They almost stumbled to a halt and held onto a nearby locker, resting their hand on their leg. Ow. Are you okay? Did you get injured? I'm alright, it's a childhood injury. My left leg sometimes acts up. It'll pass soon enough. Usually if I keep walking, the pain eases off a bit. Let's wait for a while. You sure? This is embarrassing. You go ahead, I don't mind. They took another step and hissed in pain as they tried to put their weight on the other leg. On second thought, I will protect you, Tobeans. I will protect you. They quickly offered, I quickly offered my shoulder and Toby lightly put their arm around it. For a moment it looked like they might sulk, but they eased into a self-conscious smile. Yeah, can we get them some ice or even a heat pack? Just like something different. Together we limped over to a nearby bench. I'll be okay in a few minutes, I think. I could have avoided this if I'd warmed up. Are you sure? We could drop by the nurse's office to be on the safe side. Nah, that's alright. Thanks though. I've had trouble with this need for years. It's never really been the same since... The incident. Since my accident. That, that's why you just put the incident in italics. The plot thickens. Now it's more of a more of a stew in, instead of a broth. So it's 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 a nice it's a nice hearty plot. Even the slightest bit of pressure was enough to make them wince. It's calming down a little. I will carry you, Toby. I will give you a piggyback all the way to the cafe. Thanks again. Here. They got up and shifted onto their bad leg. You still up for that ice cream? Let's head down there. You sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry. I'm good to go now. Oh, that's a nice looking ice cream. After we picked up some blueberry chocolate chip and vanilla ice cream, Toby and I parted ways for the day. I've never heard of vanilla... Buddy, buddy. I wandered through the halls as I tried to find my next class. Even though Falls only had a handful of buildings, they were still sprawling enough for me to get lost. I sighed and hurried on. I didn't want to be late. I, I don't know. Can it does it exist? Uh, okay, blueberry ice cream does exist. There's blueberry chuck chip ice cream. Uh Yes. Blueberry chocolate chunk ice cream exists and now I need it in my life. It, it exists. It exists. It looks pretty amazing, actually. Like, there's even recipes for making it yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I need to have that in my life now. I heard some humming from further up the hallway. I skidded around a corner and quickly spotted James. He paused and turned around to investigate the squeaky rubber sound. 
Wasabi ice cream. Oh, matcha ice cream is too much for me as it is. I could not deal with wasabi. Well, 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 Kaiju. It's good to see you. He was wearing a brightly colored volunteer badge. Where? Oops. My bad. Wow. Sorry, I'm playing with my scroll wheel. It's playing up. Likewise, what are you volunteering for? The Students' Union. You should join us. I I'm okay. Not the most convincing recruitment pitch, huh? No worries. Have you heard of the ice skating festival? I shook my head. I'm in a hurry though, I can't find my class. That's definitely one of the challenges being a first year. Here. Let me hand you a pamphlet and I'll point you in the right direction. Don't worry, I promise it'll still take 28.6 seconds. I practiced. Alright, impress me. Got it. Basically, the Students' Union holds a big ice skating festival every year. If you're interested in someone, I've heard this is a pretty good time to ask them out. Ah, this is the, uh, the Charlie Brown Christmas special uh, ice skating event. There's a lot to see and do, so the date probably won't get awkward. No guarantees, though. We won't refund you if it is. Topin, please come skate with us. Alright, alright. I think it'll be good. I'd recommend going. Anyway, let's find this class. Which one is it? For the record, that did feel like 28.6 seconds. Good, maybe Def will give you a promotion now. He chuckled at the idea and gave the school map from his pamphlet stack. My class is GB203. Am I in the right building at least? Yes, fortunately you're just on the wrong floor. Climb one higher and you'll be good to go. Anyway, I'll be off before Devil and chastises me for goofing off or something. He has a weird sense for that kind of thing. Have a good evening and I hope you'll find your class soon. He smiled and walked along, balancing his stack of pamphlets. Chapter 3 Does Devlin like us anymore? No. Nope. Oh, James. James does not like us anymore. Still at minus five. The next day I hurried to class. I was a little late again, but hopefully I could still catch Toby before it started. It was hard to believe it was Wednesday already. I couldn't wait to ask them to about the ice skating festival. It would be a perfect opportunity to get to know them better. Having to sit through an hour, a two hour English class before asking them would be next to impossible. The great outdoors didn't appeal that much to me, but since to Toby was so sporty, it would suit them perfectly. I did my usual corner skid and saw a familiar person up ahead. Hey Toby! What's the rush? Scoring, how, how long is usually it takes to get an ending? I know that I tend to drag it out a bit. I just need to check something. <laughs> okay. Just, just have to, just have to, uh, do this because it's, now it's on my mind. I can't unsee it. Can we, can we save that image? There we go. Bring it up. Uh, that one. We'll use that one. And we'll go. Do I have it here? Sort. Sort by date. What? Can I do all of them? Where is it? It's in that one. Come on. Where is it? Oh, okay, so in that. Okay, no. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm distracting myself. Because I saw... I, I... Suddenly something popped up in my head and I have to... I have to... Bring it to your attention before my... Before it leaves my head. So... Toby... We, we see Toby here, right? This is... This is Toby. Isabel! I'm not saying it. 
I'm not saying it. <sighs> I. <laughs> Toby definitely bought Doom Eternal. Yep. We, we got at least a relative. There's at least relative go there. Even the blushing is the same. Like the, the rosiness of the cheeks. Just pointing it out. Just just saying. Yeah, and then... <laughs> wow. I just want to catch up and say... Ooh, hang on. Give me a few seconds here. It took a couple of minutes to catch my breath. Toby simply grinned, stretched, and slowed down their pace for me. Yeah, Yags is huge. Yeah, but is how how long is each ending? That's a question. Deep breath, guide you. You'll be okay in no time if you don't have asthma or anything. While you're doing that, they rummaged through their pockets and gave me a little slip of paper. Yeah, for this one. How how long is how long is one ending? So how long is all how many chapters in a in a in one playthrough? I forgot to give you my number when we met. We wouldn't have to charge through the holes to find each other that way. A few hours, it's longer already. Yeah, true. Well, we'll get to the end of this chapter at least. Good point. I'll add you. Twelve to fifteen chapters per route. Okay, there you go, folks. I gulped down some air and looked at them. That's better. Have you heard of the ice skating festival? I have. It could be fun. I was never into school events, but I'm changing that. This one sounds like a good start. Are you going with someone? <laughs> Wiggle my eyebrows. Flirts in non-binary. <sighs> like, do we be extremely enthusiastic? You're bad dog. Time to eyebrows, yeah. I mean, Bob's like, one of your playthroughs was, uh, the one I streamed was eight hours. But that was me talking a lot, just like now, because that's what I do here. I enjoy to talk. I like to talk to people who like to talk. Actually, I want to see what the Wiggle Eyebrows reaction is. Huh? Wait, are you... Are you asking me to go with you? Maybe? Aw, thank you. Because if you're not, that's totally okay. I'm not accept upset or anything. Um... I didn't think make things awkward, did I? Not at all. I do want you to go with me. Really? I'd be happy to go with you. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, um, time patches isn't on the the podcast this this month, uh, cause she's busy. But we have got um a really awesome co-host for the episode. Uh, for those who don't know. Uh, Digital Diversity Podcast, where I do talk to devs about games like we do here. Um, up there, you can you can see it right there. Uh, the first episode is out, as well as the pilot episode. Um, the next episode ha is up on Early Access on the Patreon right now, but that will be out th in next week. And next month is Draz who will be talking to us about game jams. So, highly recommend when you've got time. The Time Patches is amazing and excitable. I love it. She's wonderful. Oh, thank you, Bob. But yeah, um, go check out the, the podcast above. Give it give it a listen. Uh, highly, re highly uh, like, looking forward to feedback and what people think because we just started up because it's the next step in this project. Look at the time, we'll be late at this rate. Well, next month is the NB Game Jam. Uh, so it seemed like the perfect time to talk about game jams. So let's hurry and beat James to class again. Uh, let's see. Wait, still at 30. Wait, can we get a, can we get a better one if we go with that one? Of 
to go with you. Alright. You're making a twine for NBA Game Jam? Nice. I hope it'll be gay. As we rolled into the third week of class, I quickly noticed that Toby was still anxiously waiting for the results of the tryouts. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds... God, it's gonna be three ace spec uh, people talking about queer games. That's gonna be a hell of an episode. <laughs> They constantly checked the soccer team's various sources for news. I shook my head. I wanted to worry about them, but I had to get back to my homework. It's a shame. This was supposed to be a weekend off. Let me jam might be kicking the butt. Yeah, exactly. I will kick you in the butt, Onyx. Don't you worry. I will kick you in the butt to make sure that you write something or make something, even if it's a tiny little thing. With a sigh, I continued to review some of my homework. My, my phone buzzed on my desk. Hmm, probably a text. I'll get back to... It buzzed again, and again. I flipped it over and noticed Toby was calling me. I accepted the call and quickly plugged my earbuds into my phone. Hey Toby, still holding up okay? I'm okay, yeah. Thinking about the tryouts? You learned he's got out, yeah. Yay. But I do think I went... But I do think I did well enough to get in. Mind chatting with me for a while? Not at all. What's on your mind? Nothing serious, I wanted to ask. Hey Tobes! A cheerful deep voice yelled so loudly I ripped an earbud out with a wince. Quinn! Hey, I'm trying to talk to... Shh, let me guess. He hummed for a good ten seconds. I dryly wondered why he hadn't run out of breath yet. Kaiju, yes? Yes? Quinn, stop it! Alright, alright. Hi Kaiju. His tone was friendly enough. Hi, so... Quinn? That's me, I'm Toby's older brother. It's nice to meet you, or hear you, I suppose. Have you been kind to them? I heard Toby wince in embarrassment. Of course, why wouldn't I be? Good. They're my only younger sibling, so I'm counting on you. Never finish full road. I, I am plant whatever we get up through today, I'm gonna finish at least one full playthrough before I interview the wonderful, wonderful people who made this game. So, uh, see if I drop me a DM when we're done with this, and we will organize the time, and we will talk. And we will talk, and we will do a little bit of an interview where you can tell me about this game. And, when I finish the playthrough, I'm gonna stream this again so we can play a Nova playthrough. I want a Nova ending, as well. I want Toe Beans, and I want Nova. Quinn! All right, come down for supper soon, Toby. We're having sweet potatoes tonight, so it's not everyone's night that I'm over. Okay, okay, talk to you soon. Their phone rattled and shortly after it was quiet again, they sighed. <laughs> it's not always the case. I'm just... very transparent. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay, don't worry about it. He's a pretty typical older brother, hey? He's something else. They sighed and shuffled around on the other side. Secret character can be stressful and fun, yeah. I guess I'd better go soon, but I was wondering if you'd like to visit me at Teal Moon Cafe on Sunday. We're doing a special chocolate tasting afternoon. Heck yes. No way, I think I'll have to take you up on that. It's a 180 from the rest of the game? Huh, okay. The atmosphere is really nice too, I promise. If you drop by at about 3 p.m., the first rush of visitors should be over and I'll be nearly done with my shift. So I'll be able to join you if that's okay. Of course, thanks for the insider tip. It'll be our pre-tryout acceptance celebration. I like that idea. I'll see you then, right? Yeah, till then. Chapter four. Do we call it there? Do we call it there? <laughs> Turns out you've been dating pigeons the whole time. <sighs> Do we go for one more chapter? Do we go for one more chapter? I still have a little tea left in my cup. I 
I think we can do one more chapter. Let's go for it. I studied through the rest of Friday evening and Saturday. I can't do Hat Hat of a Boyfriend again because I played that game and I, I ended up romancing a character that hit me so close to the heart that I can't play it ever again. It just, uh Like, it was really beautifully written, but it was just so painful in a beautiful way. And by the time Sunday afternoon came around, my brain felt like a useless pile of mush. Maybe I should take- maybe taking a break today was a good idea after all. I sighed and closed my books, briefly debating if I should opt to tidy my desk while I was waiting for 3pm. The piles of candy wrappers, coffee cups, textbooks and notes were so intimidating that I hastily decided against it. Instead I got up with a tired grunt of the game sorting through my closet. What kind of tubby cafe did Toby work at anyway? What kind of outfit should I wear? After searching for interior pictures of the cafe for half an hour without success, I wearily settled on my usual outfit. Toby would have told me if I was particularly formal. This would have to do. I checked the clock. Well, it's 1.50, so now's a good time to head off. I would hurried out of the dorms and down the road. I hopped into the first bus that headed for Teal Moon. As we rushed past the multitudes of little houses, the decorated falls, and its surrounding areas, I admired how the city seemed built around falls. I was too tired to notice it on the day that I moved to the dorms, but there really weren't any major corporations around here. Just little family-run businesses and a few high schools here or there. It was kind of amazing to think of a community like this was basically self-sufficient. Did falls existence really generate that many jobs? Yes, university towns exist, and they are usually really big things. Musing around about this and admiring the unique architecture of the city around me felt re refreshing after all the reading I'd done. I leaned my head against the window and enjoyed the journey as we rattled to our destination. I glanced about myself a little nervously as the bus pulled away. Was it even the correct neighborhood? After I'd wandered past a few random ha houses, I finally spotted a street that was dedicated to little shops, little stores, a shoe shop, a bookstore, and the Teal Moon Cafe. Now I want to play Animal Crossing. It looked inviting enough from the outside. I checked my phone, ignoring the unread text notification at the top of the screen. Apparently it was 10.50pm by now. Yeah, the little character moments are really lovely. Yeah, I'm I'm loving this so much. Like This is why I love doing these streams. This is why I love these days cuz you can see how much love has gone into this world. How much story and design and like how much effort this is and it's beautiful. These are beautiful experiences that people have worked months and years, and in this case five years, on making a beautiful experience that they can share with the world. And this is why I will always play these games, while I will always share them, because they make me happy. They give me, they give me warm feels, sometimes they give me sad feels, but I get I'm happy and I want to thank you for sharing this with me folks you're all you're all very important to me I gently grasped the door handle and let myself in oh rainbow on the community board sign the first thing I noticed was the smell of fresh bread sweet pastries and chocolate as well as the cafe's warmth it looked so cozy that the rest of my week's stress began to melt away Oh, hi! <sighs> I 
I, I kind of want to get that please wait be seated thank you side for the stream. That's really cute. <sighs> Toby stumbled to a halt in front of me carrying a plate of sweets. Yeah, I, I, I need to I need to make this happen. This is this is gorgeous. Glasses crew were 100% James until now. Maybe Toby West contacts would make sense since they're very into sports. They cautiously put it on the only empty table as the cafe and faced me again, smiling sheepishly. Not the coolest entrance on my part, but welcome to the Teal Moon Cafe. I'm really happy you could make it. Seeing Toby in this brand new uniform, excited despite the fact they were a bit flustered, made me feel... Happy. It was fun seeing my new friend in such a good mood. They'd been kind of broody ever since English class, unless James was absent, and it was fun seeing them in a different context. Oh, before I forget, Kaiju, did you see my text? Wait. Shy is the shy is the non-platonic path. I don't know. Where do we want to go here? Do we do we want to go for the? Do we go for the platonic path or the non-platonic path? I mean, they, they seem wonderful to romance, like... Oh. Platonic? Platonic seems cute, like... I mean, I'm guessing by... is platonic mean non... Yeah, do they count? So, first question, do platonic endings count towards unlocking Nova? And question two, does that mean it's an ace ending? So, a non-romantic ending in any- uh, or a non-romantic ending in any way? Like... What, what's the definition of platonic? Is it, is it a non-romantic, non-anything? Or is it, like, something you need a definition? Hmm. I mean, they're sweet. Let's go with that one anyway. I, I think, I think Toby needs a friend more than anything else. Platonic route brings the same as the romantic route, but all romantic uh, uh, actions are removed. In the romantic route, you can consent to romantic actions on an action by action basis. It's good. Yeah, we'll go for this one this time around. I will protect them. I, they are, they are, they are our, our friend, and we will look after them. I noticed a nearby patron look up as they said my name. But he went back to drinking his soup with his companion. I shrugged it off and looked back to Toby. Sorry, no, I only checked my phone for the time when I was right outside the cafe. Ah, is that so? Well... Another waiter with tussled hair and a coffee stain on his shirt hurried up behind Toby. Toby, a patron wants to see you. They're ready to pay. I'll be right there, I just... I'll speak to this customer, don't worry. Toby shot me a plaintive look but hurried off, promising something unintelligible over his shoulder. My new waiter smiled politely. I'm sorry to say that we don't cur we currently don't have any additional seats, but a new seat should open up in ten minutes or so. You're welcome to... A strangely familiar voice cleared his throat. A man at the nearby table stopped and smiled at me. You can join us. I'll be gone right away anyway. I stared back at him, but my stressed waiter nodded agreeably and hurried off to a particular demanding patron at a distant table. <laughs> Promising something unintelligible is a stat usual flirting tactic. That, that's valid. Not seeing much of a response, I reluctantly shuffled over to him. He beamed. That is, you can join us if you're Tobes' kaiju. Otherwise, you'll have to find another table. How many people named Kaiju do you know? How many people who are legally called Kaiju do you know? 
Deal with it. Are you a friend of Toby's? I'm their brother Quinn, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, and this is my sister Sarah. Aww. They're so adorable. Hello. Oh. Judging by our brief earlier interaction, we're all out of kaiju license plate. Yeah, they get bought. They always get bought up this time of year. I don't understand. I really didn't know how I felt about spending time with Toby's older brother. My palms started to sweat. This must have been why Toby texted me, right? To warn me? I was less afraid of Sarah. She was munching away on a slice of cheesecake and had a few chocolate pieces and chocolate covered fruits on her plate. Good choices. She was blushing faintly, so she was either uncomfortable as me or she was shy. I empathized with her. Well, Kaiju, that was an underwhelming response. Tobes is a responsible kid, so I'd assumed you'd listened when they told you that they were here today. I expected too much of you, obviously. There were so many assumptions in that statement that I could only open and close my mouth a few times in shock. No rebuttal came out. It was only when Quinn blinked sardonically that I stopped, thoroughly red and embarrassed. <sighs> Sorry about Quinn. I'm embarrassed he's my brother sometimes. She prodded his side and Quinn sighed. I guess I should cause too much trouble. Wouldn't want to upset you or Tobes. Yeah, anyway, as he said, I'm Sarah. She laughed weakly. I'd shake your hand, but it's covered in chocolate. I'm so sorry. My hand is not covered. Oh, your hand is covered in chocolate. Sorry. I haven't had any chocolate yet. I wanted some chocolate. Toby's busy and the cafe's busy and there's nowhere to sit and Quinn's going on. And like, Can we get some chocolate, please? It's okay. Sarah gave you a furtive nod and looked down at her plate again. Taking another bite of her pastry, Quinn looked down at his nose at me, furrowing his brows. I could practically feel the you're not good enough for my sibling talk bubble up. I had barely known Toby for more than a few weeks. Ugh. I nervously looked down for a minute, trying to make up my mind. Should I stay and try to get along with Toby's siblings, or should I leave? Toby would probably be a bit upset if I did. Stay. Social distance. I hope everyone's practicing social distancing. Safe. So this is the choice where we decide if we want to date Quinn or Sarah. I pressed my hands together. We'd had an awkward start, but it couldn't hurt to get to know them more. This is the secret romance path, right? Where I, I get to date them separately or together. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, yeah, sorry, the fifth romance option is actually the brother and sister. If nothing else, it was good networking practice. The word alone made me shudder. And I didn't want to run away from Quinn. Time to romance the anonymous waiter. <laughs> uh, waiter, your phone number, please. Something about him was so irritating that I wanted to hold my chin up high and show him he couldn't intimidate me. Toby was my friend. There was no way I would derail our bond. Toby's way to co-worker TM. I'm sorry, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Toby hadn't told me that you were visiting as well, but I'm glad to meet you both. Quinn yawned and shrugged indefinitely. I brought you the bill, yet you left with my heart. Fuck. One day I'm just we're just gonna have to make a game together. We're gonna do a stream and we're gonna just make a game together. Actually that's kind of in the works. There's some plans. There are some plans in place. There will be some announcements soon. So like there will be some big announcement digital diversity wise in the next couple of weeks. So, like, follow my twits, uh, at NBKaiju, um, and yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun. Yeah, cause there is some plans, uh, and one of them is gonna be fun. Hey, where you going? I'd like a medium shake after you're done walking, I'd like a soda. Yeah. Quinn, you understand? 
Likewise, honestly, when Toby started at Falls, they seemed a little down, but they perked up after they got to know you. So you're here for the chocolate tasting too, huh? Yeah, what do you recommend? Before Sarah could share her thoughts. Sarah, Quinn, I'm so sorry, I didn't catch Kaiju up yet. It's okay, we figured it out. Be careful running around with that leg of yours, Toby. There are a bunch of things to run into in this cafe. Don't worry, I'm an expert at dodging Teal Moon's various hazards. Kaiju, it looks like you didn't get food yet. Can I show you our chocolate options today? Yes, please, Toby. Show me all of the chocolate options. I'd love to. Let's go. I got up and followed Toby over to the chocolate buffet. I grabbed a plate and eagerly looked down at the line of treats, feeling slightly more okay with my decision to stay. Toby stepped beside me and cleared their throat. I am so sorry. I meant to tell you that my siblings, and especially Quinn, were stopping by before you arrived. I didn't actually realize that they were coming until an hour ago. They'd seen an ad for the event online and texted me to let you know let me know they'd be in. I tried to reach you, but I was too late. I'm sure Sarah was fine, but my brother didn't give you a hard time, did he? Oh no. Quinn's great. They winced at my flat expression and nodded. Okay, he did it. Again. I'm really sorry. When we talked over the phone the other night, I made him sound like a jerk and he's sure acting like one. But he's really not a bad guy. He just had a rough time throughout high school, so he's really blunt and kind of rude sometimes as a result, and well... Well then he's going to have to get better at interacting with people. People can change for the better. He's got a real sweet Camaro. Fuck. He saw how badly I was affected by my last close relationship with someone, so he's being protective even though we're just friends. It's not fair to you, I know. I'll ask him to stop. I see. It's not your fault, Toby. I'm kind of glad that he doesn't actually hate me or anything. Of course not. I've said nothing but positive things about you whenever he visited the house. They flustered and shook their head. You know... You know what I mean. Anyway, he's being ridiculous. You're literally just my friend. And I'll tell him to cut it out after he leaves today. A sweet Camaro and a bad haircut is kind of a jerk. Look, I was already seduced. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll be okay for today, though. So with that out of the way, we have three chocolate fountains today with rich hazelnut milk chocolate, raspberry-tinged white chocolate, and sea salt dark chocolate flavors, respectively. Um, I'm going to stick my head in the rich hazelnut milk chocolate fountain, after which I'm going to stick my hands in there, and then my feet until I have absorbed all of the chocolate. Yeah, um, the, the lack of the image of these chocolate fountains is painful. Um, I'm going to need to log a bug report that there's no... <laughs> the anonymous waiter has a sensible sedan, yeah. We ordered our fruits and vegetables for these fountains from nearby farmers, so it's all super local and the produce is organic as well. They wandered a little further down the elegant table and gestured at a platter of perfectly, a beautifully decorated chocolate. These are artisan chocolates. Some of them are made by our local chocolatier. Oh, sorry, chocolatier. Yeah, people do that. People do chocolate vegetables. It happens. Uh, like chocolate fondue style stuff. They do that. But they're all lovingly handcrafted. As Toby began to describe how the chocolates had been made, their smile became brighter and brighter. They love their job. We have simple, pure milk and white chocolate, but we also have a large variety of chocolates with fillings such as apple pie, cinnamon cranberry, and honey praline. Apple pie, please! We have a chart describing what contains which flavors here. By the time Toby finished describing their selection and their pastry choices, I'd already half covered my plate with sweets and some fruits for balance's sake. I smiled gratefully at him. Thanks, Toby. I think I've got the most premium selection now. You bet. I really hope you enjoy them. Tell me what you think later, okay? My shift's almost done, so I'll change and join you. Join you. 
Sarah and Quinn. The awkward conversation won't last much longer. Cool. See you soon. Quinn was contentedly finishing his plate of chocolate-covered fruit as I lo and looked up at me as I approached. Hi again. Welcome back. I expect Toby recommended the best chocolates. They have an eye for that kind of thing. They did, actually. I sat down with my platter and took a strawberry. It was pleasantly sweet, crisp, and not squishy. So you do know about me, but I don't know a lot about you. <laughs> Nah, Quinn looks like the kind of person who's going to sit there and spend the next 45 minutes telling us about the Five Rings RPG. Or, or telling us about their, um, how their Pathfinder character is different from all other Pathfinder characters. I don't know, but is it okay if I ask a few questions? I guess. Of course. I turned to the ever-friendly Sarah first. She clenched her hands a little tighter together and offered a shy smile. What would you like to know? How are you finding the event? Quinn is playing a drow who is nothing like just... <laughs> Fuck. I'm really enjoying myself actually, but that's mainly because Quinn Tobes and now you are here. I find it difficult to go to a new place alone because I get anxious and overwhelmed around strangers very easily. But I'm typically okay with a friend. Aww, mood. Big mood. Anyway, yes, it's great. Enjoying sweets appears to be part and parcel of being in our family. I nodded and glanced around me. Toby hurried towards us. Hi everyone, sorry I'm late. I had some closing out to do. They picked out a little neat so neat little circle of treats for themselves and we're already munching on two. It's okay, Tobes. We've been keeping busy, keeping busy interrogating Kaiju. The way he's been speaking to me makes me feel more like an actual statement than a joke. Vintage you, naturally. Has Kaiju met your impeccable standards yet? So far, so good. Speaking of which, did you come up with a question for me as well? He turned back to me and waited, leaving me no option but to fumble a good question together for him. What alignment is your character? What are your hobbies? Petting dogs and dropping by cafes, to be honest. Same, believe it or not. Petting dogs! Wait. Can you pet the dog? In love, Hughes. I need to know this. Cool. What's your favourite cafe? I don't know how many are at Falls yet, minus Teal Moon. But there was this neat little cafe near my house in my hometown. The name's escaping me right now. A missed feature? Well, you still got a month. You got a month. You'd walk up a little path that was surrounded by sunflowers. <laughs> Game cancelled, can't pet dog. Sorry. <laughs> when you did the cute little kitchen to the right of the entrance, the staff made incredible food, teas and lattes, and then I had a piano for anyone to play as well as Locust Artist present. Dog DLC, yeah. It's gonna come with a, a $29.95 dog DLC. For the one option in one path where you get to pet the dog. Wait. Minor spoiled question. Can you pet the toe beans? Can 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 you pet Toby? <laughs> Go to Devil Let's Root for Bed. <laughs> Sounds like a neat place. It was the nicest thing you'd said to me so far. I grinned and nodded. I'll tell you what the name is when I remember. After they finished their treats, Sarah and Quinn dusted themselves off and got up. It was good to see you again, Tobes. Keep looking after yourself, okay? Yeah, remember to rest enough and go easy on your leg if you're accepted to the team. I'm not 10 anymore. I'll be fine. You're real tough 19-year-old. Toby sighed and rolled their eyes before they thought better of it. 
They hugged their brother and sister. Sarah kissed their brow and smiled. I'll visit again as soon as I found a job, okay? <laughs> Likewise, but when I'm on get a break, I'll drop by over re reading week. Yeah. Of course, take care. Quinn looked to me one more time. You seem like a good to kid too, Kaiju. Look after yourself and Tobes, and be careful. Take this, Tobes. It's dangerous to go alone. We'll have to do this again sometime. For sure. See you all again soon. Tobeans! Yeah, that's their name. It's Tobeans. We can finally enjoy our sweets in peace now. No worries. It actually ended up being more fun than I expected. Though I really wanted to dig into my chocolate. Good, I was definitely sweating there. Quinn can be so desperate and difficult. But he ended up warming up to you near the end of it. Really? I couldn't tell. He's pretty subtle, also. Toby pointed to the corner of, the, of their mouth and made a circle around it. You had some chocolate on your face, right there. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I licked it off and Toby laughed. You pushed it further away, silly, and there's some on your nose too, and your cheek. How do you even get it there? It's a skill. Ah, oh, it's already so late. Toby and I stepped out shortly afterward to catch our bus. They rubbed their hands together. How are our fraction points? 40. Ghost time. I'm supposed I'll be okay though. I did most of my homework before my shift, so that unexpected family reunion really was alright today. It didn't secretly ruin the afternoon or anything. I remember what I said earlier. It was good. Yep. The, the, uh, the unnamed waiter, uh, fell into the chocolate fountain and drowned. Um, so now the, uh, secret romance option is unlocked. The anonymous waiter's ghost. <laughs> Tom dear, love you, guy. Yeah. I'm glad it went well. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. Come back anytime, okay? And let me know if you want to see Quinn and Sarah again. Sarah at least would be up to chat with you again. I'm sure Quinn does too. I mean, it's a very Discworld way to go if you've read uh, Thief of Time. It's a good one. Waiters in the top... Yeah, that, that anonymous waiter is in the top 100 visual novel characters of all time. Deal. I'll see you at school on Monday, right? Those tryout results should be available any moment now. You bet. We'll have to celebrate as soon as they're there. I'm certain it'll be good news. I return to the dorms. One week passed and suddenly... October. Chapter 5. And that'll be it, folks. That'll be... That'll be about it for this... Wonderful, wonderful digital diversity streams episode. Uh, Love Hughes will be available April, around April. Uh, go check out the link down uh, below. That will take you to the demo if you haven't already played through the demo. This has been so wonderful. It has been such a wonderful session. And I want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, Go follow me at nbkaiju on Twitter. There's more stuff about digital diversity. Also go chuck uh, digidiverse, D-I-G-I-D-I-V-E-R-S-E. -I -I -E. Um, a follow on Twitter, because that has all the stuff that's going on the project. And thank you to the wonderful, wonderful Seafoam uh, Mage in our chat for making this incredible game. This is, this is so good. And I will be back with another, another session of this when we unlock uh, Nova. Because we're going to do a, we're going to do a Nova follow through. Because I really want to check out what that one's like. Not showing my type here at all. So yeah. Thank you everyone. This has been a lot of fun. And it means so much to me. And... Thank you all for supporting supporting the the project with follows, with support, with whatever. 
if you are able to throw a little support in by the way of digital diversity project to help make this happen digit uh patreon uh dot com slash digital diversity or one word we've got the early access for the next episode of the podcast we've got um that gets you early access to all the blogs and i'm sure there's going to be an interview up there soon with the wonderful makers of this game so yeah thank you everyone i uh, got anything last you want to say sigarm any any last words this is this has been really good this has been wonderful these these sessions always make me happy they give me good feels they give me lots of good feels in the heart and I'm really glad I get to I get to share this with you all. Mm. It's been wonderful. It has been wonderful. And go follow Love Hughes Game if you don't already. Uh, and you can find out when that game is going out. But how about this? When Love Hughes Game fully releases, that's when I'll do the other playthrough. So uh, I will be no doubt be notified when the full release is made. We will do one more stream and we will do the Nova playthrough. How about that? So, until next time, look after yourselves. Look after each other. Remember that you are not alone. Keep playing games. Be proud of who you are. And I will see you folks next time. Bye, folks. <laughs>